All right, it's Monday the 19th. I realize I haven't really caught much update to the past week. Uh, reason is, just been really busy. As I can't mention last time, we were going away to London and Glasgow over the weekend. So, was quite busy. Surprisingly though, managed to actually, well, I did overeat while I was away, but I did manage not to overeat too much. Did eat a lot of McDonald's, which was kind of more cost than anything else, because say what you will about the nutritional value and other issues with McDonald's, it is cheap food and it is relatively reliable. So, yeah, a lot more McDonald's than usual. Um, in fact, to be honest, the only time I really seriously binged was getting back for some reason. I don't know, I just had a bit of a craving and like loss of control after I got back from Glasgow on the Tuesday, I think it was. And then, since then, been uh, doing a lot of just physical stuff, like apart from my day job. I uh, spent most nights helping my partner move. So, been like moving stuff from property to property. Kind of bit by bit, basically, for the past week. Didn't get finished until this Saturday, just a couple of days ago. So, I haven't really had time to update, and to be honest, I have eaten out a bit more than I should have just because it's been just a convenient thing to do. Oh, it's not great and yes I actually have not weighed myself in about a week so uh, I might be a bit overweight. I have managed to keep on top of exercise like surprisingly enough. Um, so I've had to move some days around like when I've been away but I've managed to at least do everything I kind of make myself do a week, you know, three days of gym and or uh, equivalent activities. Been to the gym today on my lunch and just had a run there as well, back from work, about seven kilometers. So it's pretty cool. And I'm just walking the rest of the way home now. Uh, I've uh, also started recently picking these up from Aldi, these uh, cowbell protein shakes. <laughs> To be honest, it'd be a lot cheaper if I just bought protein, like uh, the powder, and just mixed it myself. But you know, for like a quick drink, these are actually pretty damn good. They're like less than a quid, and calorie wise, they're not too bad. Uh, this is 166k cal, so not bad. Anyway, I should uh, really endeavour to try and weigh myself tomorrow. Uh, still have to have dinner today, but otherwise, I'm relatively on plan gonna make some uh, uh, see I call them burger salads but I watched someone else basically make the same thing recently and they had a different name for it like a, a naked burger I think you can tell what it is by the name but uh, I'm gonna try and make some of those for my dinner at night and yeah so I get a bit more back on track this week after the exertions for the past couple still been a fun time. All right, Tuesday the 20th, and um, weighed myself for the first time in probably over a week. 93.8. Um, slow progress, but making progress. <sighs> now, I did do quite a lot yesterday. I did my weights at the gym, I did the 7k run. My legs are super tight, and that was actually before the run. I don't know if it was uh, perhaps the indoor cycling I'd done on the day before as well, and maybe I just didn't stretch enough when I did the squats at the gym, but... Yeah, they're really tight, and I've also woken up with a really fucking sore throat. Well, it's not too bad, but it kind of feels like the beginning of a nasty one, so... Yeah, you need to keep an eye on that. Uh... So, on the last little thing I recorded there, which was last week, it is now Monday the following week, I mentioned something about having a little bit of a sore, sore throat. Well, uh, that little sore throat uh, blew into a full-on chest complaint, and I've actually been pretty fucking sick um, the past weekend. I seem to be feeling quite a bit better the day, though. I have been, like, coughing a shit ton. I've just got... I just seem to have a lot lying on my chest. So that sucked. So, yeah, uh, since then, I haven't done any more exercise at all, really. In fact, I've barely moved on the weekend. I've mostly been like just living on the sofa and just resting. Uh, as I said, it feels like I'm getting a bit better now, so that's one thing. Sadly, also when I'm feeling ill, my diet does suffer. I should be a bit more disciplined, but I tend to find I crave uh, similar things 
lots of savory and lots of spice and uh, although this isn't as bad as one I've been um, eating recently made a big batch of chili uh, this is vegetarian chili as it happens I'm not a vegetarian and more of a case of just using up ingredients I had a lot of beans um, some of that Linda McCartney mince that's been in the freezer forever and just thought I'd throw a shit ton of mushrooms in there because that needed cooking too in fact I've made a much bigger batch than planned but Hey, at least it's something tasty with a little bit of a kick I can eat for the next week. In terms of when I'm going to get back on the exercise, well, I'm hoping soon. Um, hopefully all, all the coughing I am kind of doing at the moment is just like getting the remainder up. Although I do have still a bit of burning in my sinuses, so I don't think I'll be doing anything for at least a day except walking. Um, at least I managed to hit my step count the day I kind of haven't uh, over the weekend. I've just been, just been resting a bit too much, let's say. <laughs> There goes my chest again. Uh, anyway, hopefully pick back up things soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy some spicy food. All right, so I uh, ended up going camping instead of Sheviats. Can't remember if I mentioned that earlier or not, but uh, hey, look at this. Big ass tarp. Spent 20 odd quid on that the day. A uh, bit bigger than I thought, actually. It was kind of don't have enough stuff to put under it, but... It's going to come in handy for the expected rain tomorrow. Uh, got my partner's tent out there, which is the Shivya 2, which I've made a video of before. And I'm going to try this one tonight. Um, just a basic tarp tent configuration. So somewhere in between like in a tent and bivouacking. But we'll see. Um, if I don't like it, I suppose I can always like run into this one, but... Hey, hopefully if it'll, I let me. If you let me. But no, hopefully it'll be good. There's uh, enough room in there for like possibly even two people. Obviously it's not going to be as shallow as the tent because you can't zip it up. But hopefully it'll be good enough against the weather and hopefully it'll stay warm enough as well. So we're just going to light a fire, get some food going and have some brewskis. Right, so it's Sunday now. Honestly, not much of an update this week. I said I've been, I was feeling sick for just over a week, kind of on the recovery, and I've been camping the past few nights. Um, was nice, a bit more relaxed probably than the hiking I was going to be doing originally, but like, yeah, still a bit of recovery. It's a bit of a cough actually. Um, I'm feeling fine. I don't know if it's just like whatever's kind of left lying there is just the issue, but I'm hoping to get like actually properly back into things again tomorrow, like gym-wise and exercise. I might even do a little bit of a jog today, maybe for 20 minutes to see how I feel, but yeah, not much to say. Being sick, so doing very little, but hopefully that bit's over now and we can get on with things. Stuff boxes, stuff that just needs to put away. Anyway, this is my health update. So it is currently Saturday the 8th of July. Uh, so after my illness uh, in the past couple of weeks, I have been feeling a lot better. Um, I've gotten back to training, so I've been to the gym three times this week already. Last time was yesterday. And <laughs> I've uh, started jogging a bit more regular again, and there is a reason for that. I have decided to sign up for a half marathon in a couple of months time. So yeah, uh, you need some incentive to get back into shape again. Set yourself some st challenge like that, which you're probably going to regret. So I'm going to be working on that. And on the subject of running, um, just by sheer coincidence, I have two official runs this weekend, including one in the next couple of hours, which I'm heading off to in a minute. So the one I've got today, it's uh, it's just park run, you know, the regular informal thing that people, you know, gather for, that you, you sign up for, all fun. But it is the 75th anniversary of the NHS here in the UK, so um, there are people taking part in events for that, and I kind of volunteered to represent, uh, like, one team, so I'm going to go and do that. So it's just a five-kilometer run, so it's not too bad, considering the day. Now, unfortunately, um, I hadn't realised... I'd also signed up to the Race for Life, which is a 10k run, which is to raise you know, money for cancer research. 
Signed up for that a little while ago. Um, don't know if you remember. I signed up for that the previous year and actually suffered an injury, which knocked out my fitness for a little while. And uh, my leg took ages to recover. Um, the knee itself is still very... It's still, you can't quite see it there, but it's still quite scarred from when it was, like, opened up. Well, uh, I signed up for this year's and didn't realise it. It is tomorrow. So I've got two runs back to back. To be honest... 10k isn't too much of an undertaking on its own. It's not like I'm going to be going for any records or anything with my current level of fitness. But I just because it's like the day after this 5k, it means I probably will be taking today's run a little easier as well. But that's fine. After all, the big run is in a couple of months, so I'm just training for that. But anyway, uh, I didn't want to babble too much because obviously there hasn't been like much progress in the way of exercise. Uh, it was also our anniversary yesterday, so I have... We went, well, we didn't go out for a meal. We just ordered in a very large fish and chips. So I ate way too much last night. So I haven't even bothered weighing myself this morning. Uh, it's probably not good because I was a bit off the diet during my sickness as well. But I'm going to be back to the regular weigh-ins tomorrow, I think. But anyway, just a quick update. Uh, especially in case something bad happens. Hoping not, but... Uh, uh, about a year ago, I did end up with a, a little bit of an injury, so we'll see. We'll be raising money for the half marathon for a particular charity, but I'll get all this done this weekend first, and then I'll start that. So, uh, updates if you want to get involved with that. <laughs> All right, don't know how well any of this gets picked up, but yeah, just finished the 5k park run. So it was 5k, wasn't too bad. Uh, did at the Rising Sun Park. Um, I'm at the Palmersville station now. This isn't usually where I would go, it's just there was kind of a NHS event here, which I was taking part in. So actually traveled for a little while to get here, it's a bit out of my way, but nah, it was fun. Um, I haven't got my times yet from Parkrun, because they do sort of record your times as well. I had my own track is running, so it should be sub, I think it should just under 35 minutes, 5k, which isn't terrible, but oof, it's kind of round one done. Um, <laughs> I've got the 10k tomorrow, so see how we do with that. Hmm. Had a bit of, uh, probably had a bit of a calorie heavy breakfast today, mine had uh, two slices of French toast and then two more bits of toast with uh, poached egg and butter, so probably not very good for me. I should probably just watch what I eat for the rest of the day. Uh, I do plan on uh, cooking some spaghetti bolognese later, so that should be alright. Yeah. Anyway, I have to go find a shop which sells pink t-shirts for the uh, race for life tomorrow so good luck all right race for life day um how do i feel after the 5k essay fine foot is sore that is not unusual also recently found out that the um internal work physiotherapy i've been waiting for to help with that is no longer happening because it's uh, it's one of the things they've cut from services recently, so that's fun. So I'm gonna have to try and get on the NHS physio waiting list, which could be a while. But no, not too bad. And then, yeah, so we've got the 10k of the day. I uh, is about 25 past seven now. Uh, won't need to leave here for like another hour and 20 minutes so i just thought i'd get up so i can just get a few things done and have some overnight oats which i've made with milk and actually left for two days which is unusual for me i usually just do it the night before with water but yeah whatever i figured i'd have the extra bit of energy there uh i'm also gonna have a coffee which uh, i wasn't sure if i should have some caffeine but yeah, i'm still quite tired Slept decently last night, though the night before I slept about an hour, so maybe I'm still just suffering a little from that. Some of this, just check out the stuff I've got. 
So this is my race for life number from last year. Now you might be able to see it. There are specks of blood on here and it is indeed my blood. Now this is this year's number and I've already pre-pinned it to this pink t-shirt which I've just bought as well. What's amusing is and entirely coincidental is I wrote unfinished business on here because obviously I want to I want to finish this. So this has been pinned on my wall since last year just kind of looking at it wanting to finally want to get it done this time and my t-shirt has actually got them resolved on here so it's pretty cool nice t-shirt too just bought it pretty last minute for um like three pound from primark because you they like you to wear some pink stuff so got t-shirt got some pink shorts though these are swimming shorts so i'll see how they feel if they feel like they might just become an irritant while running i'll just uh i'll just put on some other shorts i've got but yeah, time to get ready. Newcastle Cancer Research UK Drug Discovery Group. All right, I actually managed to do it this time without splitting my leg open, so that was cool. I slayed the bloody need beast. I haven't quite checked the numbers, but I think we have raised over seventy pounds, which is the important thing. Slight criticism. I'm almost certain that was not ten k like it was um, posted as because I have two trackers on my phone they were both running and they both came with about 9.3 so just to make sure I did uh, earn the medal and do it as soon as I crossed the finish line and picked up that goodie bag in metal I just like continued running for another 0.8 so I can at least say I've definitely done 10k but yeah they should probably take a look at that they did say that they've just um, done like a new route this year which probably didn't pick up on because I didn't finish the last one but yeah uh, yeah, maybe they need to examine exactly how they're measuring those. And I know I'm not the only one. Uh, other people have mentioned it too, that it was coming up short on people's activity trackers. And one of my girlfriends, um, it was an issue last year as well, and a lot of people on Strava were bringing that up. It's done. We raised some money. That was the important thing. And finally did the race for life. Yay.